I'm just going to say it. Duel Links is a better game than Master Duel. Okay, relax. I'm not really here trying to bash Master Duel, but I really want to draw attention to a lot of the benefits that Duel Links brings to the table, despite its lower stream numbers. Everyone likes talking about those. But uh, I think the comparison between Duel Links and Master Duel was much closer than you would think. And in my opinion, Duel Links wins out. So first things first, and for me, this is a positive, but for some of you guys, it's a negative, is that Duel Links is a speed duel format. And what's that mean? It cuts out a lot of the extra of the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. We don't get a main phase two. We're missing two zones. We have a smaller hand size. We have less life points. But you know what that means? That means you can get quicker games. It means that for a beginner, they can actually get a quicker handle on how to play Duel Links versus, you know, a full-size simulator like Master Duel. And not to say Master Duel Simulator isn't good, it's just a lot of a lot of new people have played the Master Duel tutorial, then they jumped into matches and were very confused on why their opponent's turn is taking 10 minutes and how all their cards got negated before they started. Because of the skills in the Speed Duel format, Decks that are traditionally considered bad, like Vampires or Mayakashi or Constellar, can actually be really good in Duel Links because you can just slap a skill on there that helps move your engine along, and now you're cooking with gas. I think many Yu-Gi-Oh players have taken on an archetype as kind of their, as a pet deck and tried to push it as hard as they could to make it competitive, and it ultimately fails. Why? Because all archetypes are not made the same. Konami purposefully build holes in archetypes where they can never be competitive in their eras because they're just missing things. But skills can actually fill those holes and just pour gas all over your deck and next thing you know it's on fire and you're OTKing your opponent or locking them out the game. Some people don't like it because it's been pretty heavy handed in uh, recent years. But... Come on, man. Only in Duel Links does Black Luster Soldier get to be meta. Uh, ju just recently, Tachyon came out, and the Tachyon decks are wrecking everybody. Maybe it's, maybe it's fun because anime-inspired. Duel Links, unlike Master Duel, is so focused on the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. So that's a big plus for all the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime fans out there. I know not everyone's a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, but I'm really curious why you're here if you aren't. Anyway, Duel Links has a huge focus on the anime. They bring back characters, monsters. A lot of the skills are references to things that happen in the anime. Uh, I recently was leveling up Yuma and Astro, and I noticed that they have a they, one of their skills actually makes them Zexomorph mid-game, and I thought that was sick. I didn't even watch Zexo, but just the fact that they took a piece of the anime and brought it into the game, I really like that. You can't find that in Master Duel. In fact, Master Duel is devoid of any anime references at all. I think the best you're going to get is like Yujo friendship. I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of a pain if you want anime in Master Duel, but Duel Links has more anime than you know what to do with. In fact, they even go so far... Or, in fact, they even go as far as to continue storylines that were left kind of unfinished in the anime. I was just playing through the Vrains world, and the Vrains world takes place after Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. Yusaku disappears, and they find him in Duel Links, which I thought was pretty cool, connecting it to the canon of that world. If you were a big Vrains fan, which I wasn't, but I might give it another try now, that's a really cool thing that spiritually your franchise lives on in Duel Links. I don't know about you guys, but I think Duel Links has more interesting events than Master Duel. I mean, a Master Duel event mostly just boils down to you're dueling with some type of deck restriction. But Duel Links' events are much more like, you know, traditional gacha game events. There are raid battles where you have to knock down an enemy with a huge amount of life points. There are the alternative game mode events where you can tag duel, action duel, uh, turbo duel. Just 
they just do all kinds of stuff and i think that's really fun it mixes up the way that we play Yu-Gi-Oh. it's actually weird that mass duel doesn't do any of those things because i think it has a very solid uh, like dueling software going and because of all these game modes you can actually ignore pvp unlike master duel where there's not much to do outside of pvp Duelix has has so much content to run through. I mean, there's a huge cast of characters that you can level up. There's multiple worlds. There's a stupid amount of cards to collect. And you can do all that without touching PvP. Would it be a bit faster? Yes. And there's no reason you, you don't, you know, I'm not saying don't play PvP. But it's nice that there's something to do in Duel Links other than just competitively playing against people. Because, like, what if you don't like the format? What if you are struggling to build a deck you want to compete with? What is plenty to do in Duel Links? I remember years ago, we were wondering how Duel Links would incorporate things like synchros, exes, pendulums, and God forbid, Link monsters. But Duel Links has successfully integrated every single one of those extra deck and summoning types into their game and it works better than I would have expected. I thought that pendulums with, with only three spell and trap zones was going to be a huge issue but pendulums have seen their time in the spotlight in uh, dual links. Did, has it required some skills to like help them out some? Yes but it's a, that went way better than I would have expected. And then links, which have their arrows that point to different zones and they were designed for the five column board, they work perfectly fine in dual links. Um, yeah, we don't have some of the most busted links in the game, but I think every, every deck around likes to make link monsters. We just got nightmares not too long ago. And no, oh, they've been just fine. I don't know. I don't know if we can U-Link, you know, the whole mechanic where if you point the arrows around, you can lock your opponent out of their extra monster zone. It wouldn't make a difference because we never got trapped in the whole, like, Master Rule 5 debacle where uh, we can only summon to our extra monster zones. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, 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 that would be annoying. But, yeah, links were integrated very easily, and they've controlled the card pool to such a degree where we haven't had to ban and limit a thousand and one links just to keep this mechanic that even Konami doesn't seem to really love. I kind of mentioned it, but there's a huge card pool left for Duel Links to add. Because Duel Links mostly operates through the anime and adding in characters, there are actually a stupid number of cards that have yet to be implemented into Duel Links, which means there's many formats that we can have, there's skills we can't imagine, Duel Links has a long, long road ahead of it. And if you get into Duel Links today, it's, it'll be a great investment. We're going to have Duel Links for years to come. And to top it all off, Duel Links has Rush Duels. Now, Rush Duels is a, little bit, a bit controversial because there's peop, the people who wanted Rush Duels wanted physical Rush Duels. And then there's people who didn't want Rush Duels, so they certainly didn't want it in their Duel Links. But we have it, it's in Duel Links, and it's actually a pretty fun way to play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's more engaging than I thought it would be. And we don't even have the best cards. Like, we have the primitive form of Rush Duel in Duel Links, but we recently got Maximum Summons announced. And if you don't know what those are, they're really cool. Those are coming to Duel Links. There's a huge amount of Rush Duel content that has yet to make it to the app, which that's, that's a whole other way to play Yu-Gi-Oh that we're going to get access to soon. And I mean, what's Master Duel really do doing? I mean, you get to keep playing an old TCG in an old OCG format. I don't know. To me, the like comparison doesn't line up, but I think what it boils down to is the type of Yu-Gi-Oh fan and the type of card game player you are. I think Duel Links is the game for the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime and franchise fan. Master Duel has nothing for those people outside of the cards themselves. Now, if you don't like the anime, if you don't care for the anime, or if you can take your Yu-Gi-Oh! without the anime, like you don't hate it, but you just don't care, then Master Duel's fine. I just don't know how you can play a game that only has 
one mode for ever. But that's all I got to say to you guys. Uh, I still think Duel Links is better than Master Duel. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. I have a strong feeling a lot of you guys are going to disagree. And I say bring it on. I, you know, I took a hard stance here, so go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'm going to read it all. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Pass turn.